Here's a review once again of the starters in the Fonner second. Number one, Nervy hooks up with top rider Jordan Elisiak, owned by Lemberg Racing and trained by Mark Lemberg. Followed by the two boxers or briefs, Luis Ranilla in the saddle, owned and trained by David Grimes. The three pony in here is Joe Hempstead's R. Kim Tipper, Jesus Ponce up. Right next door, we take a look at the four, C.O. Stephen and apprentice rider Ashley Dill, owned by Walt Meyer and trained by Jim Compton. Mr. Frosty Cat will be next. Rodney Trader on board, owned by William Reiner and Christine Reiner. Sue Wiley trains. The six is Linda Hopman's A Friend for Lucy. Don Frazier with the riding assignment. Comes via the Robert Hopman barn. Moving ahead of the post parade, midway down the backside down is number seven, Rain Feather. Prado Espandola up, owned and trained by Frank Davis. The eight is Longton Explorations Kitten in a Pinch, first time starter out of the Joe Thomas stable, will be ridden by Armando Martinez. Followed by Adair County, Jake Alisiak up, owned and trained by Jerry Gorno. And completing the field, Number 10, Preaching to the Wire, will be under the hands of Chris Fackler, is owned and trained by Ryan Stivers. Quickly followed by Preaching to the Wire. This field's at the post. Racing. Slow start for Rain Feather and Preaching to the Wire. Not so for Air Air County. Sent right to the front, along with Kitten in a pinch, breaking third, three links off the leaders. That's C.O. Steven. Four wide, fourth to the turn. Mr. Frosty Cat down inside, saving ground. Nervy gets away in fifth to the outside six, Preaching to the Wire. Then comes Boxers or Briefs. Somewhat checked out of that first turn. On the rail saving ground, R. Kim Tipper last away, Rain Feather. They work their way up the backside down, a ding dong battle on the front end. That's Kitten in a pinch in Adair County. They've opened up almost five lengths over C.O. Stephen, who's tracking from third. A break of five more to the balance of the pack. Fight is on for fourth. Preaching to the world gets uh, the nod at this point at the quarter pole. Nerby right there as well. Rushing in between horses comes a friend for Lucy, and here they come into the stretch. Kitten in a pinch, Armando Martinez with nothing but win on their minds. They've opened up four lengths now over a fading Adair County. C.O. Stephen two lengths farther back. It could be Over. It's Kitten in a pinch at the 16th pole by six lengths and lengthening her lead with every stride. Kitten in a pinch gets the job done by seven here in the Fodder opener. A friend for Lucy came along for second with C.O. Stephen third. Eight six four nine unofficially is how they ran in the just completed second race. On top, Kitten in a Pinch, followed by a friend for Lucy, CO Stephen, and Adair County. We pick up the victory march of Kitten in a Pinch, who now joins the Palmer, Palmer folks down at the winner's circle. Kitten in a Pinch is a three-year-old bay gelding by Kitten's Joy out of Cut in a Pinch. Bred in Kentucky and owned by Longton Exploration. Kitten in a Pinch, trained by Joe Thomas, was ridden to victory this afternoon by Armando Martinez.
Race three here at Fonner Park will come along at 227. That's still 21 minutes away. Again, we offer pick three exacta and trifecta wagering. The upcoming third is a six furlong event for $2,500 claimers, seven head going to the post, and we have no program changes.